Hello, I welcome you all for the first lecture which is related to introduction to molecular biology and history of molecular biology. The term molecular biology was first used by William Ashbery in the year 1945 which denotes the physical and chemical structure of the biological macromolecule. This particular term was actually coined by Warren Weaver in the year 1930 itself but it was first used by William Ashbery. The roots of the molecular biology are much more established by certain findings mainly the finding of Watson and Crick that is related to functioning of the DNA molecule. So, the DNA molecule is the one which bears or the genetic information was first proposed by Watson Creek. So, this particular finding has aided for the other studies or other experiments that are conducted by scientists such as Griffith, Avery, McLeod and McCarthy as well as the Hershey and Chase. All this contribution we will see in detail in the subsequent lectures. So, if you look at totally molecular biology, it has been yes, explained here there in a diagram which is shown there in the right hand side. So, whatever thing we are going to study in this course are all has been mentioned here in this simple diagram itself. Say for example, the first unit of molecular biology is completely denoted to what is DNA, what is RNA then what is the history of molecular biology. So, these are the things that comes under the first unit. Second unit if you go in the molecular biology syllabus, it is related with the replication. How the DNA molecule serve as the blueprint again to form the DNA molecule which is called as a replication process. For this replication, we are going to see what are the enzymes involved and what are the proteins involved and how the DNA molecule is replicated again in the next generation of the cell. If you go into the third unit which is entirely related with transcription. Transcription refers to the genetic information present there in the DNA is encoded there into the mRNA molecule in a very simpler terms. In the particular lecture we will see what are the prerequisites for transcription or what are the proteins involved. In the transcription, we will look at what are the enzymes that have been involved in the process of transcription, say the RNA polymerase enzymes. What is their role? What are its type? Which one is important? And what are the various transcriptional factors that are essential for this process? When you go into the translation, it is the next step of the process there after the transcription which involves manufacturing or synthesis of proteins by using the information that have been present there in the mRNA molecule. So, the mRNA molecule is finally coded into proteins that is the translation. So, in this translation mainly the ribosomes, how the ribosomes are involved in translating the genetic code that is present in the mRNA into functional or expressible protein molecules. So, these are the four units of the molecular biology which we are going to study in this particular paper. And the fifth unit is entirely related with how the changes in the genotypes have been happening mainly by the process of mutation. So, there we are going to see what is a mutation, what are the mutagenic agents, what is a point mutation, what is a frame shift mutation and what are the various mechanisms that have been naturally present there in the living organism which can able to lessen the effects of the mutation. So, that are all included as a mutational repair mechanisms. So, these are the five units that we are going to see in the molecular biology. Important steps I have narrated there in the molecular biology that is transcription and translations are referred as a central dogma of the molecular biology. Now, we will come on into the definition for molecular biology. 
it is defined as a study of life at a molecular level it chiefly concerns with understanding the molecular level vital or important processes and their interaction what are the things that could be included here or replication transcription translation of genetic material as well as how these interaction replication to transcription translations are all regulated so these are the things that could be a broader sense of molecular biology this image depicts what is the difference between a genotype and a phenotype genotype is the one which refers to genes that have been present there in an organism phenotype refers to what that you are seeing there that is expressible content of the genome could be simply referred as a phenotype or that is visible to our naked eye that is called as a phenotype here you look at the eukaryotic central dogma so far what i have shown you there is a general central dogma of molecular biology in a eukaryotic molecular biology central dogma there is some small differences there which you need to understand for that purpose only i am showing this image this is a dna strand from the dna strand when it is undertaking the transcription process it has been converted there into the mrna mrna is not the one which is a finalized form of mrna that will be taken for the other process however it is referred by the term pre mrna why it is referred as a pre mrna this mrna is going to be processed you can look at the third step it going to be processed and converted into a functional mrna that particular functional mrna alone will be translated and protein will be formed at the final step of the process this pre mrna is the one which will be having two different region exon and intron regions say introns are light red colored however exons are dark red colored so this introns are referred in the other term as a intervening regions that is present in between two exons so this intervening intron regions are all will be removed and they are converted into a functional mrna which is having only the exons so exons are those that will be coding for a functional protein there in the eukaryotic organisms okay that is mrna which is composed completely of exons with intervening introns removed is the one which will go into the final process of translation and protein will be produced